what would you say if I tell you that a rash like this is actually a sign of syphilis? Despite being one of the oldest known infections in the world, syphilis is making a comeback and it's crucial that we talk about it. So let's dive right in. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chris and I'm a dermatology trainee working in the UK. And on this channel, I share my experiences working in dermatology as well as life in the UK in general. First off, why is syphilis a hot topic at the moment? Well, the incidence of syphilis is on the rise, especially in developing countries. And the risks of late treatment or delayed treatment can be quite severe, causing neurological and visual problems. And in my own experience working in dermatology, I have seen syphilis affect people of all age groups. It doesn't discriminate from babies to elderly. It's actually quite heartbreaking to see patients with late stage severe syphilis because we know that early treatment can actually cure the disease and prevent long lasting effects. What exactly is syphilis? Well, it is a type of infection caused by a bacterium called Treponema pallidum. This bacteria is actually shaped like a corkscrew with tightly worn spirals. Syphilis is primarily contracted through sexual contact such as oral, vaginal and anal sex and actually even kissing can transmit the disease as well. Syphilis can also be transmitted through exposure to blood products during blood transfusion though this is quite rare because all blood products are typically screened for it. It can also be transferred from an infected mother to the unborn child during pregnancy as well. One of the reasons why syphilis is very difficult to treat because it is often referred to as the great imitator. This means that the signs and symptoms of syphilis can mimic other conditions making it quite a difficult condition to diagnose. In many cases, syphilis is asymptomatic, which means that the infected individual may not display any symptoms or signs. However, even in the absence of symptoms, they are still contagious, which means that you can still pass on the infection to other people. Syphilis progresses through various stages and is categorized into four main stage, primary, secondary, latent, and tertiary. And in this video, we're going to explore a little bit more about each stage, focusing particularly on skin signs and symptoms. In the primary stage, syphilis can present as a painless sore called a chancre, and this typically occurs on the genitals, but can also appear in the mouth as well. Now, primary syphilis is actually highly contagious, but it can often go unnoticed because patients are often asymptomatic. As syphilis progresses to the secondary stage, more noticeable skin signs may appear, and these include a rash characterized by a reddish brown patches or spots spots on the face and body, also known as a macular papular rash. Interestingly, a syphilis rash often affects the palms of the hands and soles of the feet, and people often feel quite unwell with general symptoms like a fever and lethargy. In secondary syphilis, you may also sometimes get these raised spots known as papules or plaques which are raised patches in the mouth and also in the body folds. Other organs can also be affected such as the liver, the kidneys, as well as the nerves. Again, these symptoms come and go, which makes diagnosis quite challenging. After the secondary stage, syphilis enters a latent stage, which can last for years without any noticeable symptoms. However, it is important to remember that the infection is still there and can progress to the late stage if left untreated. During the late stage, syphilis can affect multiple organs and can cause everlasting complications, including the skin. In this stage, you may develop gammas, which are sores that can grow and eat away surrounding areas. They can appear anywhere on the body, including the skin, the heart, blood vessels, nerves, and even the eyes, and which is why we need to treat syphilis as early as possible to prevent this from happening. You might be asking, who's at risk? Well, anyone engaging in unprotected sex, or high-risk sexual behaviours, or men who have sex with men, or people with a past history of STD such as HIV are at risk. But we are actually seeing this more and more commonly in the general population, including heterosexual individuals. The main Stay treatment for syphilis is penicillin and the regimen differs depending on the stage you are in as well as the organ affected. So that's all for today's video where we discuss a little bit about syphilis focusing mainly on skin signs and symptoms. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up sign as it means a lot to me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.